Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and um, I can't tell you how excited I am about doing this exact show. I was supposed to do a show like this with these wines, but um, about a year ago, well not quite a year ago, um, <clears throat> this, is be, this, this show is actually being released in 2019, um, but in the first like month or so of 2018, um, I had I was I had my 36 bottle uh, uh, wine fridge, cooler, cellar, whatever you want to call it. Um, works really well. Um, held the temperature, so it was solid, man. I had that thing for a while, um, but it had those metal shelves and the, like the plastic sides and man, those shelves, especially if you have like larger format bottles, whatever. The shelves would shift. So unfortunately. Um, I had a different vintage of this wine, um, an older vintage, and it fell. And we have tile floors, and I mean the thing was it's only about that, it, maybe like a foot, maybe a foot and a half, but it hit it just right and it busted. I was hoping it was this one because this is the one I reviewed back in July of 2017. Okay, so we are now going to review this one compared to this one, but this is also a, a, this is also a Corvin review. So I'm excited because this has been under Corvin for 17 months. Okay, so let's get into this. Boom. This is a 2012 Don Melchor, uh, some Malbec. Um, so Conchi Yotoro is the, is the company that produces this. Conchi Yotoro makes everything from like five to six dollar bottles of wine to $125 bottles of wine. So these retail for about $125, bucks, um, about. Um, so they make a wide range of stuff from Chile and Argentina. Uh, they got the Trevento brand, they've got Conchi Toro, they have Castiello del Diablo, they got Del Melchor, so they got a whole, and there are a few other ones. So, you know, they, they make a wide range of stuff. So I'm super excited to try this one right now because we're gonna see it. Now, I did say I emailed Corvin. Of course, I'm, I'm recording a bunch of episodes the same day. So I'm hoping at this point I've gotten a reply and we've worked something out for a new unit. But if not, I'm fully prepared to spend the full amount to buy it. All right, so I'm excited to see how this comes out. Uh, free sample, by the way. Um, so I got these, I got this bottle and the other bottle from a good friend's Creative Palette. So thank you so much. So, um, Let's check it out. Boom. All right. All right, so it doesn't smell bad, as in like, it doesn't smell like it's gone bad. But it's definitely got this roasted barbecue meat sausage, like kielbasa sausage. Like we get these like sausages with like jalapenos in them. Sometimes they're a little too hot though. And I like spicy food, but man. So it's really, it's got that, like, it's got like a smoked sausage type of aroma. Really prevalent. And then like a, like a clove cinnamon thing and like a, um, <clears throat> um, almost like a barbecue sauce type of like a savory barbecue sauce, almost a sweet barbecue sauce. You can smell the smoke, you can smell the, you know, the burn, the embers. On top of that, it's kind of like a, like a, like a cherry, like a black cherry glaze or like sauce, you know, that maybe said the barbecue sauce. I 
a little cedar box, black pepper. I mean, man, I cannot wait to try this thing. I just remembered, I said Malbec. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon, which, because I'm like, describe this, going, this is, this is no Malbec. Because it's not Cabernet Sauvignon. They make Malbecs, but this is not it. The, the next, next week's wine is a Malbec, and it's not cheap either. Not 125 bucks, but it's up there. Um, I was thinking about that wine. So, this wine is still drinking wonderfully. After 17 months in a cellar, you know, I've, I've kept it at, you know, the 55-ish degrees. Um, there was a period of time that it wasn't in a cellar. Um, I had it out on the table uh, while I was waiting for the big one. That, and that was what prompted the purchase of that big cellar was the breaking of the other one. Was, I don't know if it was a 13 or a 14 because this is a 15. But I think it was a 13 that broke. Yeah. So it's still got that smoky quality. Um, and what really clued me into like, this is not a Malbec from tasting, was I felt like I got a touch of bell pepper. And not that you can't get this piercing quality from Malbec, because it is Malbec is a Bordeaux varietal and basically all the Bordeaux varietals are related to each other in some form or fashion. Um, and the, the, the parent grape Cabernet Franc um, is loaded with pyrazine, the actual grape, that gives you the bell pepper or pyrazine. I'm not really sure how exactly how it's pronounced, um, <clears throat> but it seems like most people say pyrazine. You can get that. Malbec's not one of those grapes where you expect to get that. Cabernet Sauvignon, yes, you can. It was like, it was like just a touch in there, but the smoked sausage quality with the jalapeno, which is the pyrazine, um, Like I said, that, that, that black cherry, like, based, like, barbecue sauce, um, the, the black pepper, the, the cedar box, um, all that kind of stuff is so in there. Oh, man, I just want to just, just crush this wine. All right, wine number two. Same wine, just 15, 2015, 125 bucks. Creative Palette, thank you very much for sending me this wine. So now let's see how this is. I really hope that this wine lasts the other four bottles that I have to do, or five, no, four. Yeah, four, all right. Yeah, four more bottles, because I have one bottle on the next review and then three on the final one. And all these are free samples. I'm trying to get them knocked out first i try to get all my free samples done before I move on to purchase wines. Okay. I'm trying to be very gentle, so hopefully I'm not... Good things gotta last. All right. All right, so not as intense on the smoked sausage or the smoked meat, but it's there. Like you're, 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 you're at a barbecue in Argentina. Um, these are from Argentina, right? No, this is from Chile. That's why the pyrazine's in there, too, just so you know. Um, but you're at a South American barbecue. It's coming through again. The pyrazine's there. It, it, the jalapeno sausage is there. It's not as rich. It's not as smoky. It's, it's more like freshly opened pack, I guess, even though it's cooked. Whereas this one feels like it's a little aged, it is. The wine's older, but it feels like it's like more rustic on this one. This one's fresher, it's brighter. The piercing is actually a little more, the, the jalapeno bell pepper is more present in this one. But it's not an overpowering thing. And I feel like this it's, it's brighter red fruit, not like the dark cherry or black cherry. I think it's, it's more like a, um, 
it's more like a raspberry type of thing. Kind of like a raspberry, you know, um, uh, um, jam or puree. The smoke is there. The wood chips are there. The it's kind of a green tobacco going on too. Yeah, well, let's taste this thing. Mmm. Long-time viewers of my show know that I really kind of geek out when I get bell pepper or, or jalapeno in a wine. So I am just, I'm, I'm beyond excited. And, and here's the thing, it's not like overloaded with it. It's not like, so like some Chilean carmineres um, are like just bursting with this bell pepper or jalapeno, and I love it. But sometimes it might be a little too much. This is all subtle. It's in there. It, it's it, but it's not like the driving force. But since I key in on those things, I really, I really notice it. But again, it's still the brighter red fruit, not the dark cherry, not the black cherry. It's more the raspberry in there. Um, uh, there's cinnamon. There's a touch of clove in there. It's the smoked jalapeno sausage with maybe a, a touch of like cheese in it. Um, those are so awesome. Um, there's a touch of bramble to it, <clears throat> a touch of like, you know, you, you're, you're biting into the wood. Um, you, you feel like you're like at an old wooden picnic table and you can really taste it, you know, in, in the food that you're eating and drinking the wine. It's just coming, uh, the, 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 the aromas of that wood are coming through onto, onto, your, onto your tongue. bit of dirt around the dry dry earth that type of stuff fantastic you're paying for this i mean you're paying you're paying three digits but it delivers every single dollar on that if you can totally afford it you're not going to go wrong I mean, two different vintages right here um they it's a well-made wine it's expensive i get it you know i normally wouldn't drop 125 retail. I mean, you've seen my show. I, I mean, I, I averaged closer to 20 to $40 now. When I first saw the show, I was doing definitely under 20 a lot, but now I got into it and <clears throat> I, I, I start liking more expensive wines. Yeah, I got to pay for it. You know, this is on the upper end of what I would buy on a retail type of thing. Um, but it's totally worth it. Like I would buy it if, you know, I was going to. Outstanding wine. All right, so that's going to do it uh, for this episode. Um, as always, click the links above to friend me up. Click the links below to find out more about the Don Melchor wines. Um, again, uh, the promo code 1337 wine uh, for underground seller. I'll have that in the show notes also. Um, and I probably should have put it on the lower third. <clears throat> so that will get me 25 bucks in like extra cash for me to buy stuff from underground seller. Um, you should check them out really cool guys um and they've worked with me like i've had you know i've had i'm gonna say issues but i've had like questions like hey where's my wine um and they're like they've they've taken care of me they, they either they've either got the wine that i've been waiting on for my cloud seller or they've replaced it with equivalent quality wine uh price point and all that uh, very responsive um and they've really worked with me over the years i mean buying i've been buying wine for them for i don't know how long five six seven years at least, you know, um, so uh, they've been very responsive and they always have pretty good deals. And I get most of my new world wine from them. I get most of my old world from Psalm Select. So, um, but every once in a while, I get the opposite from, from those guys. But you know, the cool thing about Underground Cellar is I think you can have up to like 500 wines in their cloud cellar. And if you, if you ask for uh, delivery of at least 12, 12 bottles, that delivery is free. You only you get twelve bottles at a time. You can only you can't you can't sit there and go, oh send me thirty six all at once. Though I've done it, you have to do it in twelve bottle increments. But that shipping is free, and that's why I do it because shipping is what kills wine you know online wine sales. 
you know, if you're buying a $15 bottle of wine, the shipping is 15 bucks, like <clears throat> go, to, go to the local wine shop and buy it. And you should go to the local wine shop too. I don't do it a whole lot, but I also buy, a lot, I buy everything online. Um, free shipping, this, that, and the other. So anyway, good wine. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see everyone again next time.